Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you the demo of another project which is blood bank management you can say it's heading is a blood bank uh, manipulation so uh, we already have that project in our uh, portal it's available on the codeman.com but this is something change or you can say it's not a major project it can be a minor project for a final year student so uh, before uh, dive into the demo let's discuss about the technology that we are using in this project so uh, as you can see as always we are using jsp and servlet it's following the mbc architecture running over the maven tool so to manage the dependencies and deploy over the tomcat server to manage the backend it's using mysql database so if i go to my mysql you can see the tables are there and I view the user table in the user table we have a two roles the first one for the admin and second for the uh, like donors or who is going to search the blood okay uh, let's run the project and check how the functionality and, and things are working so as i run the project and uh, this is the welcome page other option we have about us contact us and under the contact us user can enter the data or uh, then i'm going to use some dummy data and the data is sent successfully the data will immediately update into the database and the contact us page so in here uh, and the most important login page is the login page under the login page we have it as i said we have a two user so if you are a donor or a customer so you can directly create an account and login into the uh, system and search the blood another option we have for the admin so admin uh, how will you find the admin uh, user credential so just right click on the user table go to select row and uh, Check the first role ID as a one. So if the role ID is a one, then it, this user will be treated as an admin. Otherwise, it will be a donor. So I select the email ID as a username for this uh, admin and the password here admin at the rate one two three. So I as I enter the uh, password, what admin can do? Admin can add a new donor. So let's say I enter some dummy data and I select. Yes. so what options we have here like let's say donor uh, blood uh, donor name is there we need to enter the blood group so it should be in a valid format let's say you enter B positive so it should be capital like B should be capital country and like we have selected uh, country state and district let's say and uh, again city is a and here we have another option due to the current situation like uh, covid 19 plasma donor let's say yes and i add the donor is added successfully also as an admin i can add a hospital let's say Coburn hospital email gmail.com so always uh, make sure when you're entering the data data should be in a valid format so it will be easy to integrate and um, without error so let's say i enter an address as an endor and i enter phone number any 10 digit number select the category it should be a government a blood bank or other bank so let's say i select other government bank and the district kilometer so let's say five services and the type of plasma or it's related or in white blood let's say it's white blood i added the hospital also another option it will get logged now let's say you are a new user or existing user if you are existing user you are going to as if existing user or donor of the application you can directly log in from there and uh, let's say i have one user in the database so you can say these are the users which have a two role id uh, these all are the donors so i just use this credential for this user this password demo at the rate one two three and log in into the system now what can i do i can search the user so these are the uh, blood 
uh, these are the blood data that is available into the database also you can perform the filtration or filter option from here under the search blood bank we have multiple options let's say i'm gonna use like a state and district and we have this uh, hospital here and also we can search by the hospital name let's say i entered my hospital name and the data is filtered now here we have this hospital and now let's say enter address and uh, there we have address so as i enter the address search the record i can see it's filter okay so easily you can contact them over their details reset password option is there and dropout is there i already uh, said like it's not a major project you can say it's a minor project for a final year student in case you need a source code you can check the link in the description box you can contact us over the skype over the mail over the whatsapp our team will give you quick support we are also providing the configuration support at your machine it means we are going to run the project at your machine and in case you need an explanation of the code technology that we are using here so we'll providing facility to prepare for the interview prepare for the viva uh, so you can easily answer the project management things over there so if you have a basic knowledge and you are looking for any project real-time project you can contact us you can have it for your college and your academics thank you